Welcome back! Today on Dialed In DIY, we're taking another look inside some toys to see what makes them tick and see what makes them run. Plus, we're going to find out if there's some pretty cool parts inside that we can use in other projects. In past videos, we've taken a look at some broken toys, but today I'm looking at one that's been a little bit worn out to see what happens on the inside of one of these little kids' pianos. The first step in this whole process is an annoying amount of screws that have to come out of the back of this thing. And even once you think you've got them all, you probably don't. So get a screwdriver and start stripping the thing apart, including the batteries. You may have seen my video where I took apart the woody pull string toy, and just like that one, you want to be very careful when you open the cover on anything, because there's often springs inside, and you don't want things flying out or getting lost until you have an idea of where they fit. And the first thing I noticed when I ripped this thing apart was that it's mostly full of switches and buttons. That is how this whole thing works. Stick with me to the end of the video, because I'll show you what each of these buttons and switches does with a little bit of a demonstration. Plus, in typical dialed-in style, we're going to have a little bit of fun with a slight modification just to experiment a little bit. Interesting thing about this speaker, it's not that good of a unit itself, but they did a good job making sure that the sound would be amplified. They left a cone forcing the noise to the outside, but also left space on the underneath side of the speaker so that it would maximize the amount of sound that was coming out of it. Pretty good design idea. If I'm ever trying to figure out what went wrong with a toy like this, one of the first things I check is the wiring, especially on something like the speaker, because a simple fix of a loose wire can make it really easy to restore a toy to full operation. I'm removing two different switches here, and as you can see, this one with multiple wires actually serves multiple functions. One of those is just to turn the device off, and the other one controls two volume levels. The other switch only has two operations. It alters the different sounds coming from the keys when you press the buttons down. Pretty cool. And switches are always a good checkpoint if you're trying to figure out what went wrong with something. These particular wires on these switches were done really well. They're soldered, and then they put hot glue over them, which also protects them from moisture. That's also a good design idea. Whenever I take something apart, whether I'm gonna to try to fix it or use it for another purpose, I like to make sure I know what was where. So, I either get pictures, or I number things, or I do a combination of both. In this case, I'm numbering all of the buttons so I know what order they're in, for use in other projects if I want to keep this thing intact. So there you have it. The main guts of this toy all fit in one hand. Plus, there's this battery pack. So to get everything out, first I'm gonna go ahead and cut the wires and later I'm gonna come back and remove the actual pack itself because whether I keep it connected with this or use it in another project, having a battery pack is always a nice thing to use in other projects. So if you're salvaging a toy like this, what are you left with that's really good? A bunch of fun stuff. And these are all items that I use in other projects. But I'm also thinking I might do a little extra experimenting with this first. Okay, first step, I guess it's good to know what this thing will do anyway, so let's hook everything back up and test everything out. Yeah, outside the case on low setting, it's really quiet. Not that the high setting's that much better. So what do I do when I'm playing with something like this and I don't like the sound coming out of it? Add a bigger speaker.
Hey, thank you for taking the time to stop by Dialed In DIY today to check out my video. I do appreciate it. I hope you got something out of it or liked it at least a little bit. And if you did, I'd love it if you'd let me know by clicking that thumbs up below. I have a lot of other fun kind of projects I like to work on, and some of them involve using parts that I get out of things like this. So I'd love it if you'd subscribe while you're here, check out my playlists, and come on back because there will always be plenty more Dialed In DIY to come.